So today we're going to be talking about the band. Now tell me, Dave, you got you have a studio yourself, you got a band, you jam a lot. Yeah. Yeah. What goes uh, on about that? Well, I, I write with this guy Ed. Um, he's written over a hundred songs. Oh, uh, he's wow. got. He's a creator of his own, uh, not not just a website, but a bit, it's almost like a Facebook for music. It's oh, called, called, so um, other people go on there and post their stuff? Yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, gets uh, moved around? Trade songs, credit oh. stuff, you know, stuff like that. That's pretty um, cool, yeah. It's called um, musicsite.biz. Musicsite.biz. And, um, and then we got our own thing called What's Trending Band. What's and, Trending uh, so if you type, com, yeah. yeah, if you type what, what's trending band.com, You'll go. You'll end up being on that site, you mm. know. So yeah. it refers to that site that way too, you know, as a draw for people to come to that site. And and is there uh, one type of music that's primarily featured, or is it? Um, oh, it's all kinds. Yeah, all kinds. You got a whole mix sure. of the melting pot of yeah. music, huh? Our, our stuff's a little different. It's um, it's kind of like EDM, but um, okay. it's like alternative rock, kind of. EDM sort of. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like just a conglomerate of all different types of music, kind of like what you know music is, right? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. always inspiration drawn from all these radical places, <laughs> and you come up with something completely new, you know? Yeah, some 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 people don't like that. What I call the purist, you know? The purist. Uh, oh. They 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 like just the acoustic yeah. stuff, you know, or or they, if it isn't Mustang Sally, it's just not good, you know, or something. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you know, or cover bands and stuff like oh. that tend to, not to like, you know. Um, right. right. To, it seems like it, like the original the Same bands. kind of people that always try to categorize music. Like, oh, it's this genre, this genre. Well, why can't you just let yeah. it be, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, it takes inspiration from all over. Or you'll never do nothing yeah. with that. <laughs> right. you, know, you need to yeah. go learn Mustang Sally or something. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, um, so yeah, I, I really enjoy, enjoy writing with him. And another thing about that is that uh, with just the two of us, you don't have all these other entities going, no, I don't like this. Or, right. or you know, you got time schedules, attitudes, and you see a lot of um, arrogance, um, uh, especially amongst guitar players, which I am one. I'm not very <laughs> arrogant, though. I should hope oh, not, but. I've seen my fair share of arrogant <laughs> guitarists, trust me. <laughs> and. Uh, um, and it's just hard to deal with different personalities like that, you know, over time, you know, especially mm -hmm. if you don't do a whole lot with it, you know, because if it's original band, it's really hard to get gigs and stuff, yeah. especially paying ones, you know. Oh, oh. So the, <laughs> sometimes you're paying them to have you up there, you yeah. Know? <laughs> that, a lot of times it'll happen too. So, so I, my idea with that is, I, you know, I can do all kinds of things like. Um, karaoke DJ and that kind of thing. And maybe if I offered that up front and then tried to sneak in the what's trending thing with it, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. Just get some exposure, you know, yeah. something like that. Yeah. It's and a good way to yeah. do it. Oh, but you cool. said uh, you write you write a lot of songs, or is that just your? No, I, me, I can't. I, I'll write lyrics and never could put the music to it, or I'll write the music and never could put the lyrics to it. <laughs> <laughs> so you had the, it, the parts, but nothing to put them yeah, together. So I found the writer. And uh, um, there, there was a time where I went through, we wrote a song called Pickup Lines, and it was, I took a whole plethora of lines that people would use in a bar, and we mashed them all <laughs> together and then lined them all up. And, uh, made it rhyme? All that? It, yeah, made it oh, wow. so that it fit to where like some total loser was going into a bar and just hitting on every girl he turned around and <laughs> seen, you know, with these great lines, you know. When you're writing these songs, you're not writing them, you're just playing parts or you're just yeah me i'm just i'm letting the music dictate what i'm gonna do okay you know? yeah. sounds really creative really uh really free open area with not yeah. without all these restrictions these people telling you like that doesn't sound good that doesn't go you're you're just going with whatever happens and mm -hmm. it's kind of just you know that's that's pretty interesting actually. I'll have, a lot of times I follow melodies too that that, oh, that yeah. come off, off of it you know you just kind of diddle something on the piano and then build the whole thing around that no, he, he does everything in Ableton oh, to okay. begin with, and then I get yeah. the material, and then I apply the guitar to that, you know. And, th and then once I get that done, a lot of times I'll even, I rehearse the song so much, and then I'll put on a blindfold after that, and, and then never look at the guitar. So <laughs> I'm thinking about, we're thinking about going with masks so that, um, yeah. yeah, so that people can't tell your age, and 
or whatever. You yeah, because there is some kind of stigma that some yeah. people generate. They're but, thinking, oh, no. Yeah. I've, I've heard from a lot of people that they thought that would be stupid, but um, I, to me, I just thought, you know, why not, you know? Yeah, I mean, you got this far. Why don't you tell me about um, how you have, how you and Ed work together. What, what do you, what's your process normally? You say you follow the music and he writes. Oh, he'll write happens? a ton of songs and I'll, I'll be like, okay, this one's not gonna work, this one's not gonna work. Oh, okay. and, and he uses that for a thing called E is Me. Okay. And that's like his solo stuff, you know? E stuff that me. I can't handle. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's sometimes there'll be a lyric that he, he'll like and yeah. I just, and I have to listen to it 50, 60 times before I can come up with a guitar part. And if there's one part of it that I just can't make a diet of listening to, I'll either have him change it or uh, um, or just tell him I'm gonna have to scratch it. You know, I just can't do anything. For you ever it bring in anyone else and say, "Hey, maybe this guy could do something for you for this we, part"? Or? We no, um, no, not really. So it's just you two. Yeah, bouncing yeah. By um, yeah, yeah. We were thinking about adding a third entity, uh, as far as like, um, you know. Ableton, you know, somebody actually working, in the software. physically working the board in real time. Okay. Um, but you have to have somebody who's proficient with it. All right. Well, uh, that's all the time we have for today. Dave, thank hey. you for talking about your Thanks. band. That was really nice thank to you. hear. And uh, we'll be back. On